So technology, what a concept, right? We have finally figured out a way to bring back Kelly's Pet Project, and I am so excited about this uh, because that's one of the things that I have missed the most about uh, not being able to work from the actual studio is getting my visits every week from someone from the Humane Educational Society uh, bringing in an adoptable pet. Uh, we're doing something kind of new this time around, and this is actually uh, a dog that is in foster care, but he is still very much available for adoption. Now, I first met Hercules uh, of, gosh, I can't even remember now when it was. Uh, I think Taylor brought him over to the uh, the studio and he was a, such a sweet boy, just an absolute dream. Claudia has been fostering him in her home for a while now. And Claudia, uh, he, he was being so cute just a minute ago. There he is. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, there we goodness. Yes, we got to get that pre precious face in the, in the scene. Yeah. yeah. Claudia, he looks like a totally different animal. I mean, yeah. he, he is so, he was so stressed before and being in your home has obviously worked wonders for him. Tell me about Hercules. What, what have you learned about him uh, having had him in your house? Um, he is definitely one of those dogs that needed love and oh. to feel comfortable. Like um, the first week he was, like you said, a little bit anxious and ha as the months have gone by, <laughs> playing he didn't used to play and he, <laughs> <laughs> so we bought him like twenty thousand uh, uh toys and he's been playing with all of them he even throws it in the air and catches it himself oh so, yeah but um what i've noticed is he's completely comfortable like even turning on his belly you know that means yeah. he's a, a extremely comfortable and at ease yeah. he's very well um he loves going out for walks a lot and then when he comes back, we're passed out, right, buddy? We're passed out <laughs> when we get back. And this has been a real, really, like, I, I used to have a Chih Tzu and a Golden Retriever. So being exposed to a dog like this that I've never been exposed has been an amazing experience. And so just him grow, too. It's yeah. Been just, yeah. yeah. So about how old is he? Almost 10. Okay. Almost so he's 10. an older, so, so no puppy issues to deal with. No, no puppy issues whatsoever. No, he's very good at doing his poopy and pee pee outside. He'll he'll let you know. He's very um very uh not not vocal because he barely barks. It's more like you know the way he reacts and the way he looks at you and wags his tail when he looks at you. It's like, come on, take me out. Yeah, it, it's time. It's time. Yeah. yeah. So, so what's his feeding schedule like? I usually feed him every morning four cups. They're measured um, in the morning. Okay. I actually try because I saw him. We we walk. We walk him a lot. So as I've noticed, I changed the schedule to two in the morning and two at night because he, okay. he was hungry at night. So it really depends on the person's um, schedule, but it both they work. They both work. If okay. I eat the four cups in the morning, he'll eat it through the day. If not, like I, he'll just, you know, reconvene when I give him two more cups later. He, there you are. He's playing with me. So, so has he been around other animals? He has. Um, I've been exposing him every day to dogs in the park. And and he always walks his tail. He always wants to say hi to dogs. Always. Every single time. And I've never really had a bad experience. I heard when he was in his her first home, which wasn't the best environment, he kind of growled and wasn't nice to other pets, but I haven't seen that at all with him since he's been with me. So I'm not, I'm, yeah, when it comes to that. And I've, I actually let him play with dogs too. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So how are you going to be able to give him up? <laughs> That's just um, what I want to know. You know what? Like I lost my golden retriever back in October and my Chih Tzu in April. So it was like a six month, you know, morning yeah. morn period. And he, when I came into him and I asked for the oldest dog and the one that wasn't getting adopted soon and they gave me her, I knew immediately that my mission was to find him in a home. So I um, came with that mindset mostly. So, and then I'm moving out of Chattanooga in two years. So even, even that kind of gives me a purpose for him and make sure that he finds the home that he deserves because well, he's a really good dog. 
Yeah, he, he really is. And of course, the month of August, it's the Clear the Shelters going on at the Humane Educational Society. So reduced adoption rates, uh, especially for dogs that have been there, uh, you know, over two months, uh, which obviously, even though he's not technically in the shelter, he's still considered a shelter dog. Uh, but reduced rate of only $25. And I'm telling you, that's the best 25 bucks you're ever going to spend in your life. I agree. And yeah, and, and you are going to get so much more in return. Uh, again, Hercules is available. Just contact the Humane Educational Society. The best way to do this is to go online, and if you're interested, fill out an adoption application, uh, and then somebody will contact you, and they'll work with Claudia and arrange a chance for you to meet Hercules in person. Uh, but what a sweet pup, and yeah. uh, and I cannot wait to, to see his new family, and, and hopefully they'll stay in touch because he's special. Me too. I agree. Can't uh, wait to see that moment. That'll just fill me up for years. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Claudia, thank you so much for everything you're doing. And again, Kelly's Pet Project, thank you so much. Please you. adopt, adopt, adopt.